my God. My God is not an old man to be feared with a list of rules that's as long as his beard. He's not a creation scientist who thinks if you can explain the rain that it makes it less great. My God is not a sex ed teacher. He's not a tract, not a VHS tape, not a bumper sticker with a bogus slogan chosen for controversy or a candidate who managed to attract the right wing. He's on the wrong side of the tracks, Palestines and Iraqs. He's behind every person whose culture has turned their backs. He's beside every divide to provide for both sides. He's on top of the world and still holds it together. He's the most clever. Sometimes he's seen an Esther, Mary, Teresa, Lydia, Deborah, Rishana, Jingyi, Unju, Emma, Julie, Jesse, Tori, Rebecca. My God is not a limited release. You don't have to pre-order, line up, show up, and show receipts. He's not a neatly produced show on stage or a test prep book with the answers in the back page. My God is not the Texas Board of Education. He's not Jesus Camp, but he's also not the Simpsons. My God cries and my God laughs. He knows what it's like to have a cold drink in the bath. My God has a sense of humor, so he created me an Asian pastor that raps. <laughs> My God is strong enough he doesn't need to prove himself. He's big enough that he can fill any room in the house. He likes the little people, the hurting, the lost, the ones who lost their virginity to someone who stopped calling. He's a father whose children didn't listen, but he never lost his patience and lets us come home. And a room in the basement is always waiting and vacant with fresh sheets on the bed and fresh food for the taking. My God loves weddings. He dances on the floor until long after the last guest is bounced. He doesn't wear a crown, ring, bling, a white gown, but every head turns when he's up in the house. He responds to text messages, tweets, and G-chats. He's not afraid when I offer honest feedback because he knows the shape of my eyes, thighs, and veins, and he loves them even when I think I need to lose weight. My God knows what it feels like to be beaten by a lover, abandoned by a mother without a roof for cover. He knows what it's like to have to stay undercover, afraid of what others would do if they discovered. He listens to alcoholic confessions, gives late night blessings in midnight sessions. Sometimes he keeps me guessing, but only if there's a point to learn. He even cares when my other friends are unconcerned. He loves widows, orphans, gay people, straight. He's crying tears of anger at every single rape. For every child hurt and every heart that breaks and everything that aches with an unforgiven pain. And he's there in Rwanda and he's there in Norway and he's there shedding tears at every mass grave. And he tears off masks to expose every face because in front of his eyes there's no room to play games. Because he's every mother's kiss and he's every father's gaze. And he's the God of every person who's out there who needs grace. And he doesn't care what you call it. It's not about the words. He just wants you. 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 And you. My God.